In the scenario in question 13, records show that 30% of all patients admitted to a medical clinic fail to pay their bills and eventually the bills have to be forgiven. Suppose we're looking at n equals 4 new patients as a sample to represent the larger populations of patients at the clinic. Find these probabilities, round your answer to three decimals. First one says all of the patient's bills need to be forgiven. So, if we have four patients and all of their bills need to be forgiven, that would mean that we have four out of four. Really what this, asking me to do, what this is asking me to do is solve for the probability that x equals four using the binomial formula. When I go back and pull out the two other key pieces of information I need, it's that we've got a sample size of n equals four, and that 30% is the probability of success. Really, success is weirdly defined here, where success is not paying your bill, but we can do that with the binomial. The binomial just has to define something as success and something as failure. So it's somewhat counterintuitive, but a success in this instance represents not paying your bill. So if it happens 30% of the time, as a probability, that would be P equals 0.3. Whenever we go from percent to decimal, we just move the decimal place over two places. Another way of doing it is just by dividing by 100. So when I go to set up this binomial, I should be doing n, which in this case is 4, ncr x, which in this case is 4, p, 0.3 to the power of x, 4, 1 minus p, 0.3 to the power of n minus x, 4 minus 4. Put this in the calculator, parentheses, 4, NCR, 4, and parentheses, new parentheses, 0.3 to the power of 4, and parentheses, new parentheses, new parentheses, 1 minus 0.3, and parentheses to the power of parentheses, 4 minus 4, and parentheses, and parentheses. Putting it all in, I get 0 0.0081. It's said to round to three decimals, so I would just call that 0 0.008. Since what we're dropping the one is less, is four or less, it can just drop and go away. Part B asks, what's the probability that one bill will have to be forgiven? So what it's asking is what's P of X equals one. To do this, same exact setup, it's out of four, so it's four NCR. In this case, 1, 0.3 to the power of 1, 1 minus 0.3 to the power of 4 minus 1. When I put it into my calculator this way, putting in a 1 for the number of successes, this time it tells me that the probability is 0.4116. Again, it said round to three decimals, so I'm dropping a 6. Since that 6 is 5 or larger, this becomes 0.412. Part C, none will have to be forgiven. That's really asking what's the probability x equals zero. To do that, it would be four NCR zero, 0.3 to the power of zero, one minus 0.3 to the power of four minus zero. When I put that into my calculator, substituting zero, where I had one success before, That gives me a probability of 0.2401. Again, I'm going to round to three decimals because that's what the instruction said. Here are the ones what I'm dropping. So I can just leave it as 0.240 because that one is less than four or is less than five.